In this video, we'll talk about viewing Windows Vista problem reports and solutions. Any operating system is a complex creation and you will run into some problems in the operation of Windows Vista from time to time. As Microsoft released each new version of Windows, the company became more proficient in identifying problems that are Windows, Windows and offering faster fixes. When Vista encounters a problem, it asks you if you want to send information to Microsoft so they can review the problem and find any solutions that are available online. Vista also creates a log so you can see what problems Vista has encountered and lets you check for new solutions online. Here's how to view problem reports and solutions. Click the Start button and then click Control Panel. Click the System and Maintenance link. Now click the Problem Reports and Solutions link. The Problem Reports and Solutions window displays the list of recent problems and solutions. If there are no recent problems or solutions, you can check past problems by clicking the See Problems to Check link in the Tasks list. You can check for solutions to these problems by clicking the Check for New Solutions link in the Tasks list, which checks for all recent and past problems. After Vista checks for solutions, Vista reports problem information. You can click on the Problem Report Information link to view information about the problem. Click the OK button. If Microsoft needs more information to solve the problem, the Problem Reports and Solutions dialog box will state how many problems need more information and ask you to send more information from your computer by clicking the Send Information button. If you want to change the settings, click the Change Settings link in the Tasks list. You can check for solutions automatically, which is the default option, or you can have Vista ask you to check if a problem occurs. Click the OK button. You can delete the solution and problem history by clicking the Clear Solution and Problem History link in the Tasks list. You should do this only after you review the problem history and ensure that no listed problems are of concern. 